Hey everyone, it's Craig Veroni, Remax Masters Realty here, and this is your Vancouver Real Estate Market Update for August 2019. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to this channel, hit the thumbs up button for this video, and don't forget to hit that bell so you can be notified the moment I have a new video out. I really want you to be able to stay up to date on all the latest tips and insights into the Vancouver real estate market so that you can become an expert too. All right, let's dive into it. In today's market update, I'm joined once again by the fantastic Des Sorpi. I've missed you. I've missed you more. <laughs> we haven't had a chance to do a market update together for a while because our schedules haven't been aligned. It's uh, summertime. Everybody's been, I've been really busy. <laughs> I've been really busy. <laughs> I haven't really taken any vacation this summer, but we are here today to, to talk about what interest rates are doing, what uh, has happened with the recent decrease in the stress test qualification and its implications. And of course, what are the opportunities right now for both buyers and sellers in today's market? And so, so many, so many opportunities. There are. Yeah. So let's, let's dive into it. Well, how about we dive right into the uh, interest rates? They are the lowest they've been in the last couple of years, yeah. and that was also historically low. So we're historically low off historically low. Um, I've never seen anything like this, certainly not in the last 10 years. Right. Um, fantastic opportunity if you're looking to refinance. We've got wonderful mortgage brokers for you to speak to about that. Um, or if you're looking to get into the market, this is a great time because your borrowing power has just once again climbed, which is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Yes, both with the interest rates themselves yes. and then of course with the qualification lowering of the stress test. The stress test, that's right. That's another um, interesting... That was a nice segue. Yeah, that was a great segue. <laughs> uh, the government um, federally has decided that uh, the stress test was maybe cranked a little too strictly mm -hmm. um, and they have actually lowered it just in the last while. They've relaxed it a little bit. Haven't done away with it altogether, which is still really prudent. Canadian chartered banks are among the safest in the world for a reason. They don't like to take on a lot of risk or allow Canadians to take on a lot of borrowing risk. So the fact that they've relaxed a little bit, I think also shows a bit more of a green light for the economy that they're less worried about the real estate market in general these days, which is nice. Yeah. And what I've noticed, I don't know if you have noticed the same thing, between January and May here in Vancouver, mm -hmm. buyers had started to come oh, yeah. off the fence, yep. right? Absolutely. A lot of, lot of buyers who had been waiting and started to come out and sales had been increasing, although incrementally, month over month between January and May. Between May and June, because interest rates had started to rise and, and you know the, the media coverage of what was happening here in Vancouver, I think buyers be jumped back onto the fence. There was a big dip. And now that things have aligned back in favor for many buyers, I think that pent up demand is starting to swing back the other way. Is that oh. what you've noticed? I've noticed that for sure come July, we had a ton of sales. Yeah. Like the dominoes just started falling in July uh, and across the entire Lower Mainland and across all the different product types. So everything from condos, townhomes, detached homes. Uh, and what I've seen personally is just with any homes that we've been interested in either from the buyer side or that I've been involved on on the sales side, the listing side, Anything under 1.4 is really going into multiples. So that's just in the last few weeks. I haven't seen that in 10 months or longer. I know many agents have been screaming this from the rooftops. The sales are increasing. You know, it's been amazing July. Um, we're here to tell you to just calm down a little bit. Right? Slow your roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there definitely are significant opportunities for both buyers and sellers. So let's talk about that. You know, I'm still sticking with if, if you don't have enough space where you are or you're looking for something newer and shinier and you're debating between renovating versus purchasing something a little bit pricier, now's the time to buy pricier. Mm -hmm. Sell yours, get something better, uh, mm -hmm. what you'd be saving in terms of the renovation, the headaches, the costs, etc. Uh, you're definitely going to be making up in spades in terms of scoring a, a wonderful bargain in this market. Um, the same holds true if you're in a condo or a townhome, uh, certainly in the lower rungs and you're looking to make a move up. In this type of a market, it's never better than to move up, right? Like th this is your opportunity. Get out of what you have, um, take on a little bit more of a loan on the mortgage side, but really get something on the next rung and it'll serve you well in the long term. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think buyers who 
ha because there were, have been many of them, you know, sitting on the fence trying to time the bottom of this market. As I've been educating most of my clients throughout this year and, and many buyers ha that have been heeding that advice have been really happy with the fact that they've been able to purchase uh, without multiple offers and get mm -hmm. great prices on the homes that they have purchased. Nothing's going to happen overnight. And, and exactly. I, I don't think the pressure is there that we've seen, you know, two, three years ago where people need to be waving checkbooks, et cetera. But we have seen that the homes definitely in certain price ranges in certain areas are going to go into multiples depending on where that those prices are. If those are the homes that you're interested in, you're definitely going to need a good agent to help you navigate the, those waters. But in general, if you're just kind of poking your head up, now's the time to start doing your research, decide where, mm -hmm. what, get your financing in order. Uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the affordability and what the banks are willing to do for you these days. Yes. Absolutely. What about sellers? So if you have to sell right now in the next three to six months, what are some of the things that sellers can do to maximize the sale price of their home? I'm a huge believer in staging. Uh, mm -hmm. Anybody that's worked with me on the on the listing side is definitely going to tell you that I push for that a lot. Definitely staging that you can do across all homes and across all budgets, trust me. Getting the exterior done, anything that can make you separate yourselves from the rest of the homes on the market right now. And of course, working with an agent that can get a decent marketing plan together for you and actually knows how to get things sold in this type of a market is key. We don't wing it. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is your asset that we're talking about. So yeah. if you want to get your home sold in a market where not everything is selling and the things that are selling aren't necessarily selling at the top of their game, you definitely want to be in a position where you're standing out above the rest. Yeah. The bottom line is if you're going to bring your home to market, you want to bring it to market in the best possible light you can. If you have any other questions or you're thinking of buying or selling your home in the near future, feel free to give Des or myself a call. Our numbers are here below. Our contact information is here and we'd be happy to assist you. It'd be our pleasure. Thanks. I hope you've enjoyed this month's market update. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic August and I'll see you next month. Take care and remember, this is where you live, love, own Vancouver.